So, I've got the handlebars mounted, the gas tank mounted, the governor mounted, the carb mounted, and now we need to deal with timing the magneto. So, I found top dead center, and according to the manual, you, you get the piston at the highest point, and then you measure so it goes down 5 sixteenths of an inch from that point. Now, on the magneto itself, there's timing marks and what you got to do is you got to turn the motor until you get over to the timing marks and that's how you know it's time so once I turn the motor so it lines up with the timing marks then you tighten up this nut on the coupling which will tighten everything up and then it should get spark when you get over to the timing mark is when it should spark and at that point the motor should run hopefully. Now one other point to note on the magneto itself on this area there's actually a mark on one side of the impulse coupling and not on the other. When that mark lines up with this area that's when it should spark. Now somebody must have taken my magneto apart at one point in time because the mark is 180 degrees off from where it should be. So when the unmarked side is hitting the timing mark, that's when mine is making the spark. So you got to use your head a little bit and think sometimes. But now when I get this unmarked side to right here is when it's sparking. So make sure you assemble it properly. Okay, now the timing is all set. So now I'm going to put my head gasket on. And I'm going to put my head on. Now, the head has been bead blasted, it's really pretty. Put that on. And I got some nice bolts here at Fastenal. The 5 sixteenths by 1 and 3 eighths, which is the factory spec. Um, originally, when I took this motor apart, it had 1 and a quarter inch head bolts on it, which is not what factory is. Uh, some guys use inch and a half and put washers on, but I figured, why not be factory? I bought them about 34 cents a piece, so you can't really beat that. If you buy them from Gravely, they're like $1.50. Okay, I've got a nice new wire. Nice brand new Champion W14 spark plug. Gap to factory specs. The old manual from 1961 says to gap it to 33,000, so we've done that. Got a nice little boot here for the coil. A nice boot for the spark plug and we should be ready to test it. Well, I built a new spark plug wire and now we have no spark. This thing's been sitting around for a long time and what it looks like is that the points down here are pretty nasty looking so we're actually going to take the points off and uh, clean them up a little bit with a file, put it together and regap them and see if we got some spark. These points are pretty, pretty dirty. They're black. Uh, it almost looks like they're covered with carbon, like it's oil. We're going to polish them up and see if they're not too pitted. We'll try to reuse them. Otherwise, we'll probably have to buy new points. Okay, I took the wire wheel on my Dremel tool to them. And they polished up pretty good, but there's some pitting in there. So I'm going to try to hit it with the file for a little bit and see if we can get the pitting out. It's fairly deep, so I'm not sure that I'll be able to get it out, but I'm going to try. Okay, I've got the points cleaned up. They actually came out really nice. I've got them gapped here to 15 thousandths with my feeler gauge. Now I'm going to put the uh, cover back on and see if we have some spark. Now, before I put the cover on, this old gasket was shot, and it looked kind of wet inside the magneto, and that's probably why. I have a couple spare gaskets in stock, so I'm going to put a nice new end cap gasket on first. Now, we've got new, new uh, gap points, and check this out. Plenty of blue spark. Now... The next problem with this magneto is that, see this 